So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this time animation in DaVinci Resolve. So let's begin. Now, drag in a fusion composition on your timeline and also make sure to go ahead and get any texture. So this is just to add the background, make the background look more interesting. And let's head over to the fusion page. Now over here, simply just connect your background to the media out. And now go ahead and add your texture. But this is up to you. If you don't want to do that, that is okay. And now let's change the blend to 0.5. And let's drag in a polygon tool. So also go ahead and drag in another background. And this time you can change the color to white. Connect them and connect it with the merge tool. Now I'm going to remove this polyline shape animation. And let's go ahead and draw our shape. So right now I'm just going to enable the guides like this. Click on your polygon and then you can create your line. You can adjust this accordingly. And now let's go ahead and change the border width to 0 0.01. And here you can see we have our line. Now I'm going to position this right here in the middle, but also it has this center over here and go over to the length and change this to 0 0.5. All right, and now let's drag this in the center like this. And we're going to do the same thing once again. Just go ahead and drag in another polygon tool. Remove this, add a background, keep this at white, just like we did before, and connect it like this. So go ahead and copy your polygon one, and then right click on polygon two, and then select these settings. And this will add the similar settings we had in the polygon one, but this time we can change the length to 0 0.8. And now we can move this in the center as well. All right. And now let's go ahead and change the Z rotation. So you will see that this is rotating from this side. As you can see, this is the center for this. But we want it to rotate right here. This, this should be the center for this. So in order to add centers, or you can say the pivot, in order to change the pivot so that we can rotate it in the center or from the center, just go ahead, click your background, and then add this transform. Do that for both of them. And here you will see this is the pivot, the X showing over here. This is the pivot. So both of them are in the center. And if you go over to the transform and change the angle from here, this is how you will be able to see where the pivot is. So now we can change this to, let's say, 30. And this one, let's keep this at 0. And now let's go ahead and add another one. But this time, we're going to change the color to red. Let's add in another polygon. But this time, let's copy and paste settings. But we're going to change the length to 1. So keeping the length at 1 and also the color at red and then let's go ahead and connect this so this is the red one over here and let's go ahead and change the angle for this one as well so add a transform node for this and as you can see this is in the center as well so let's go over to polygon and then slightly just move this right here in the center and then go over to transform and then let's change this to minus 45. So this is how it is. And now we can start our animation. So let's go ahead and go over to the first one. First uh, line that we have over here. Right click on the angle and go over to modify width and then go and click this anim curves. Now go over to modifiers, change the curve to easing and then go with sign for both of these. And if you play this, here you will see this is how it looks. And we can do the same thing for the other ones as well. So let's go over to this one as well. Again, sign, but this time let's go with some other one so that there is a variation in the animation. And let's do the same thing for the final one as well. 
And this time, let's just select black. Let's go ahead and change this to quad. So here you will see that everything is coming in. All these three lines are coming in in the center where we don't want that. So what you can do is just change the scale for this. So let's go over to 180 for this one and see how this looks. And let's keep this 360. And for these, let's change this to, let's say, 95 and then change this one to 75. So if you play this now, this is how it will look. And of course, you can animate them manually as well, keyframe by keyframe. But this is just a way to show you how to quickly do that. So this was it for this video. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next one.